Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat Spit Productions. Now today I have to admit I really had something different planned for this video. Um, let me preface and tell you that this is a, a suggested video from one of our fellow uh, viewers, one of our people from the Cat Spit audience, and uh, he brought up a uh, inkjet vellum to me. Now, I've been in the industry for many, many years and we're used to laser vellum. Basically, in the commercial industry for screen printing, uh, as far as I know, you know, m most vellum is meant for laser printers, you know, so I've never really worked with inkjet vellum ever. And a uh, YouTube user, Kentucky Artist, uh, suggested that I tell you and share you about this inkjet vellum because he said that he used it and had some good success with it and that it works pretty good you know and it's what the the big the big uh, deal about it is is that it's available at Staples okay so if you if you live in the states I know a lot of you watch my videos out of the country out of the United States but you know um, you might be able to order it online but it's available from Staples and it's inkjet white vellum paper I'll, I'll show you a close-up of the package and, and the paper itself okay and I think it was like 13 or 14 bucks for 50 sheets and um, so Kentucky artist uh, said you know check it out and you know do a video and share it with everybody let them know that you know it's available and I said yeah sure I'll do that because in the past as you know we looked at laser vellum okay and originally for this video I wanted to print you know, I wanted to show the laser vellum and print the laser vellum, which I did. And then when I, and, and print the inkjet vellum. I had my inkjet vellum and I was going to print the inkjet vellum. Okay, now here's where I came into the problem, the technical issue. Okay, um, the inkjet vellum, this Staples inkjet vellum would not work with my 14 Epson, Epson 1400 inkjet printer, my photo stylus 1400 Epson, okay? Uh, and the reason may, why may be because it, ha it actually has a CD printer tray and a lot of the times the CD printer tray can cause issues. Okay, so I can tell you right now that the, this inkjet vellum from Staples, for me, I could not get it to print through either. I have two Epson photo stylus 1400s. I have two of them. <laughs> and one of them has dye-based inks, the other has pigment inks. And uh, I, 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 I could, it, it just kept getting jammed, okay? So that means that this, this inkjet vellum may or may not work for your particular inkjet printer and something that you'll have to test. Now, I can tell you right off the bat Okay, compared to the laser vellum, laser vellum is pretty thin. It's almost, you know, it's, it's really like wax paper and it's very thin, okay? Now, the Staples inkjet vellum is thicker. It's almost like a parchment paper, you know? It ha it's, it's definitely thicker, okay? However, when you hold them both up to the light and look through them, they look like they have the same translucency, if you know what I'm saying. So even though the inkjet vellum is, feels and is thicker, it still basically has the same translucency that the laser vellum has, the major brand of laser vellum that you see advertised everywhere that I will not mention the name of for legal reasons and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, um, you know, so, Kentucky artist, uh, is, you know, this is a very good idea, and this inkjet vellum may help out a lot of people, but I have to tell you that I wasn't able to print it out, so I'm not sure, you know, I really have no idea um, what it will do, okay? Uh, all, all I know is, is that Kentucky artist said that it worked very well for him, and he had some good results with it. Um, and one more thing important to note, is that when, when you get the instructions, it does tell you to set your, your paper or media setting to transparency. 
Now, interestingly enough, the Epson 1400 Photostylus printer does not have that setting. And I print inkjet film through it all the time, which is thick, right? It's, it's just as thick as this inkjet vellum, but it just kept getting jammed up in the CD DVD printer tray system. Okay, so uh, I don't know if they make an Epson 1400 that does not have that uh, CD DVD tray printer, but if they do, that's the one you want because that thing is uh, the CD DVD tray printer on the Epson 1400 can cause problems. But as I was saying, when you get the package of Staples inkjet vellum, you'll see inside that it actually uh, has paper printer settings. It has a guide. And if you look at the Epson section, you'll notice that the Epson 1400 is not there. Okay, and in fact, there are only about uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 or 14 Epson printers on here. Maybe 13. 13 different models with some different model numbers. So Epson makes a lot more printers than that. All right, so I would, uh, you know, this is something that is worth checking out because it's available locally. It's very inexpensive and it might work for you but you got to make sure that it's going to print through your particular inkjet printer, okay? And that's it, you know? So I just wanted to share that with you, okay? Uh, inkjet Vellum from Staples, uh, $13.99 I think it was, $14. It's less than $15 for 50 sheets. And it may be of assistance to you. It might help you out, you know? And, um, you know, it's worth giving it a try. Um, perhaps also, uh, you know, if you want, feel free to message me or uh, ask in the comments if your model printer is listed here. I'll look on here for you and see if your model's on here because it's such a small list that, you know, but that doesn't mean that it might not work with your printer. You know what I'm saying? It could still work with your printer. So. It may be one of these things that you got to spend the 15 bucks or 14 bucks and just test it out, okay? All right, now it's getting really hot in here now. So um, what I'll do is, is I'll just give you a, a close-up shot of the package from Staples and the inkjet paper itself, just so that you can kind of see the color and, and look of it, and that's it. All right, and that's it for today. Thanks a lot for Kentucky Artist for uh, sharing this with us and uh, suggesting the video. Uh, I really wanted to show the comparison of the printing to the laser vellum, to the inkjet vellum, and I apologize, I couldn't do that. I, I don't have any other inkjet printers in-house and I, I just don't have the ability or the time to try to go print it somewhere else on somebody else's printer. So I hope this at least helped you out in that knowing the availability of this product and you'll have to test it out for yourself, okay? So, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support online a lot. Your attention and your time means a lot to me. Thank you very much for watching my videos, and thank you very much for visiting my website and using all of the Cat Spit Productions promo codes on the print, supp print supplies page of the Cat Spit Productions website. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, if you haven't yet, subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot, we'll see you next time.